And what we're going to be talking about is a case that's on this website. You can go here to the reviews and then to the before and after and click on that and it'll take you to this page. And what we're going to be looking at today is this case right here that says aggressive perio. So if you click on that link, it's going to take you to this page. And this is going to be the periodontal charting. So when you go to your dentist and they uh, take x-rays, they're also going to check your gums, or they should be checking your gums. If they're not, if they don't take these measurements, uh, look for a different dentist. It's critically important that your dentist take six measurements per tooth. Good numbers are one, twos, and threes, and uh, areas that are bleeding and, and bigger than three, something that should be a concern to you and the dentist seeing you. So this is the case that showed up to us. Uh, this is an aggressive periodontal case. It's different than traditional periodontal disease in that there's less calculus that you'll see in a moment. And uh, very used to be called juvenile because it, it affects younger patients and uh, very advanced bone loss and especially on the lower anterior segment and on the first molar. So you can see in the, this is the before and after of this case. What I mean by after, it's the after of uh, having done Lanap. Uh, you can see initially we had large numbers of eights and nines and double digits and then we're taking those double digits of 10s and 12s down to 3s and everything in the anterior segment went down to 3. Uh, if you look at the literature, Carl Misch will tell you that any patient who has a 7 millimeter pocket and greater should be considered to have those teeth removed. Fortunately, this patient did not go to that type of office and had the Lanap procedure done and now uh, will be able to keep their teeth long term. Uh, this is one side and then the other side. Um, again, double digits. So what we mean by these are the x-rays of the case and, and this is diagnostic also. You can see these vertical defects in the anterior segment and then also on these uh, first molars. These, these almost go straight down. I wasn't sure initially when I saw this case whether it was going to be a good candidate for Lanap because again aggressive periodontal disease is different than traditional uh, advanced periodontal disease in that the patient is young, there's not a lot of calculus built up and we have deep defects in the molar region and especially on the lower anterior segment. So this is the periodontal probe that your dentist should be placing between your gum and your tooth and a measurement should be taken. This measurement here is about a 9 plus right here. So at this line it will be 12 millimeters. Down here 9 right where it disappears. Again the same tooth, 9 plus, bleeding on probing. This is the upper molars. This would be 9 at this line right here. So an 8 right about there. You can see the separation in the pocket also. Again, the bicuspids also had some problems. 7 millimeters because there's a yellow line right up here that represents 6. 7 millimeters but also seven millimeters. This is the before. Seven plus. So there you can see that you have the three millimeters, then the six millimeters, and then what we're seeing in the pocket. So you, this is how much this instrument extends below the gum level. It should only go in about mm, two, three millimeters up to this line right here. in the posterior, 9 plus, 6 plus, 9 plus, 9, 
Ten. Nine. And the lingual, about eleven. Almost twelve. Nine. And tier, lower end tier. Ten. Ten. And this is the after. Um, didn't quite get the full resolution, but that's about um, five ish. Maybe four plus. Uh, this case, I, I was considering retreating for for these few areas that didn't quite respond that well. But she went off to the the military, to the army, and uh, she did have a periodontal charting done, and they said that uh, she was in in good situation. Again, the after uh, about a, at a two millimeters after two millimeters, after five, two on the after, two, two, two. Not quite as good a result as I'd like to see on the distal. I would have wanted to come back and, and take care of that, but the tissue looks a lot better. Her army peri uh, periodontist didn't feel that any further periodontal treatment was necessary. Four plus. Three. And that's it. So I look forward to seeing you online. And uh, if you have any questions, go to our website, Laser Gum Dentist. And there's an area right here on the upper area. Just put your name, your email. You don't have to give us an appointment date. Just ask a question, send it in, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I look forward to seeing you on lasergumdentist.com. Thank you for watching.